first step that I do, since I use cast iron, and most Able Skyver pans are cast iron, is I stick it on an oven at a relatively low temperature. It's set on uh, number two, and I leave it on there until the pan gets hot. Kind of the same way with this skillet. I've got it on a burner. It's a full size burner, but I only have the smaller inner part on, and I also have it set on about a three. So this pan will be what we make the Able Skyvers in. This pan is what I'm going to be, this skillet's what I'm going to make the filling in. Now, I post pictures sometimes on Instagram of making these Able Skyvers, and I know a couple other people that have bought these pans and made them, but someone texted me recently that they had finally gotten one of the pans and they were looking for some, you know, recipes to make. And when I sent them one of my favorite recipes, they were like, oh, that sounds like too much work. Because basically you were making the the dough part from scratch, right? Flour, salt, uh, sugar, all that fun stuff. But there is a cheat way that you can make these. And I'll do it if I'm in a hurry or I don't have much time and I want these. So um, I already have my breakfast. I eat five eggs for breakfast every day. That gets my protein. But... Eggs don't have any carbs, and I want some carbs so I don't burn out before lunch. So what I'm actually making, this is really simple. All it takes is, um, now I'm fixing this for only one person. So I basically need one, two, three, four, five, six. I need seven slices of banana, some cinnamon, some brown sugar, and some butter for the filling. And the way that this works is I'm going to put the butter, the brown sugar, and the cinnamon in the pan. Once that melts, I'm going to add my slices of banana. And then when I go to make the batter for this, instead of making it from scratch, I'm just going to use plain Jane pancake mix. And that's kind of like the, the trick that I was going to show you. A quick way to make Abel Skyvers. Doesn't necessarily taste the same, but it'll get you by. All right, so I believe that this pan is probably, I eyeballed this. I actually have a recipe, but the recipe that I have makes like 21 of these. And 21 is just a little too much for one person. <laughs> so I just eyeball it. I know about what I need as far as like what it should look like. So I put some butter in the pan. I may actually need some more butter. I'm gonna go ahead and stick the spoon in there also and just let it rest so that the butter is on there melts. I'm gonna need some brown sugar. You kind of want about a one-to-one -one mixture. So if you use two tablespoons of sugar, use about two tablespoons of brown sugar. Just a little bit more. And then you're also going to need slices of banana. So I'm going to cut this banana into seven slices while that's heating up. I like the bananas relatively thick. That's probably three-eighths of an inch thick. I'll go ahead and add the cinnamon now. Probably about, you know, it takes a little bit. Give us a quick stir.
go ahead and add my bananas. Now I'm going to turn these a couple of times. I'm going to do probably about two minutes on each side. While that's actually cooking, I'm going to go ahead and give these a quick turn now. Just to kind of get them coated. Drizzle some on the tops of them. And I'm going to go ahead and make the pancake mix. Probably going to take about a half a cup, maybe three quarters of a cup. It's not going to take much for like one or two people. Um, I believe the original recipe called for something like, uh, where's my pancake mix? <laughs> the original recipe I think calls for like one cup of flour, so, and that's to make 21. I only need seven, so I'm kind of guessing about maybe a half a cup or slightly more. All right, so there's my pancake mix in a bowl. I'm just going to eyeball it for the water. You're also going to need butter to coat your Abel Skyver pan. Now I modified this kind of basic recipe from another recipe I found online. In that recipe it actually called for like a rum alcohol to be added to this. And since I don't drink alcohol... I kind of leave that step out, but if you drink alcohol, have at it. You are more than welcome to uh, try that. And another one of these Abel Skyvers that I make all the time, but I also post the video of the pancakes, is I make a Abel Skyver that has chocolate banana peanut butter <laughs> filling instead of the banana, sugar, and cinnamon. Add some butter to each one of these. Probably way more than I need. I may take a... Uh, pastry brush sometimes and spread it around. I don't even know where my pastry brush is right now. I usually always put too much butter in these and I'll tell you why. It always takes me a minute to get everything situated and this butter will evaporate really quick. It's kind of like you want enough in there to make sure you've got the sides of this coated so that nothing sticks but I know that my bananas probably aren't ready yet so I'm just kind of like putting more in there than I need so this is probably pretty good now let me tell you something about this before I start making this though. It, you have to get it timed just kind of right as far as like, because this is a multi-step process. But you also want to save any leftover syrup that's in this pan to drizzle over the finished product along with having some um, 
along with having some either powdered sugar or maple syrup or something like that also. I usually do this by just using a tablespoon to kind of like put this in these. I go all the way around and put like one tablespoon in each one. Then I go back and I put one banana in each one. And then I go back and put the topping on. You'll see. So there's that part. All right, next we gotta put the bananas in there. Now you could actually let those wait, or you could give out a couple minutes. But I just put like the banana pretty close to the center. I may have put a little too much batter in there. I always, they'll sink down some for one. Something like that. All right. Once you take the bananas out of this pan, though, make sure you turn that on low. You want it to stay warm, but you don't want it to be still like getting rid of all of its stuff. So usually what I do is I kind of wait on this. Like think of how pancakes when you're like making pancakes and the bubbles start to come to the top, how it's doing now and they pop. I give this a little bit of time. And then I put, when I start to see those bubbles starting to form on top, which I can see there now, I go ahead and I add just a little bit more on the top of this, just enough to kind of like close it up. You don't want it to be too much. Otherwise, it's just going to run all over the place. This next part is the hardest part. You could use toothpicks. You could use two forks. Toothpicks usually work. They can be make it a little more difficult. But we'll go ahead and try it and see what happens. Yeah, I think that's going to work pretty well, actually. So the trick is, is to just get them to turn enough so that your top will eventually seal up. Now, one thing I can tell you about pancake mix is it's not quite as forgiving as Evil Skyver mix. So these are like really fragile and they're going to break easy. The other ones you can just spin and they'll spin really easy, but these want to like fall apart. So that is kind of like one thing about using pancake mix that's different. But you basically just turn these until they're turned upside down so that the top can get done. They maybe could have gone another minute or so. I ain't going to worry about it. They're going to be good either way. Actually, I have another video on making these with the actual Abel Skyver batter. Um, I made some like lemon meringue ones once and posted a video on that. So I'll link to that video. 
the the thing with using pancake mix you're just going to have to kind of accept that the batter is a little bit more fragile and it's probably going to fall apart on you when you turn it so you know that that's just the way it's going to be but it does work may not be as like beautifully presentive as like Abel Skyver batter but it still works ahead and put me a thing down there so I can just lift these out I would say most of these are probably done they didn't fall apart entirely I mean they're still edible who's not going to eat food right spend all this time making it still going to eat it even if they fall apart. I think if I get rid of this part right here that's hanging over, those other ones will come out way easier. Oh well. You kind of get the idea though. The last step is basically like drizzling or pouring your sugar mix over top of it. That skillet's a little warmer than I thought it was. So we'll take this. It's kind of like makes this hard for me because I had the skillet, both the front burners on. I'm just going to pour it the best I can. Drizzle this. And it doesn't help. This is one of my heavier skillets. And then you're just going to sprinkle like some powdered sugar over top of it. Trust me, tastes way better than it looks. I'm going to skip the sugar because there's already sugar in the syrup. I'm just going to go ahead and eat these as they are. Uh, that way I'm not killing my diet also. These probably have around 70 or 80 calories per each one of those cups. Mm -mm -mm. 